Hey everyone, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path. Now today we're heading down for a camp, so the start of the video is actually at night. This is Mansfield up here, um, and heading down to meet Luca uh, for a camp on the Haukwa River. Uh, this is a part of the high country I haven't been to before. Um, so we came in here off the Mount Buller Road on the Haukwa track, which is, although it's called a track, it's a two wheel drive road. Um, Fry's Huts just down in here. Now we didn't go to Fry's Huts today. Um, we actually came down along here and ended up uh, camping at Pickering's Flat, I think. Um, so that's a, where, and Luca was already there set up. So start of the video is me driving into this location. There's a bunch of huts along here. This area is super accessible, really popular from what I understand. Um, during peak season, peak times. It was busy enough. This was just a normal weekend in March. So it was busy enough even now um, that, um, yeah, you really probably want to think about when you want to come here. Uh, but yeah, picking up in the morning, we headed off from there. We didn't stop in at all these huts along here because these campgrounds were reasonably full. Uh, it's quite a nice scenic drive following the river, fairly twisty, as you can see. Um, and um, we did um, take a right hand turn here so uh, this is still Brock's Road here just depending exactly what version of the map you're on uh, how that's represented um, this is actually Bluff Link Road here this other white section that continues straight ahead so we headed down here and uh, today's video actually ends at the upper Jameson Hut which is just down in here so as you can see, we do continue on and we'll cover that off in future videos. Um, but yeah, pretty easy driving, some great scenery and really nice hut at Upper Jamison Hut. So let's get into the video. Hey guys, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path. Um, not sure how well the audio will come through in the car here, but we'll see. Um, so it's Friday night, just after seven o'clock and um, I'm heading off on a trip. Um, haven't been anywhere on a trip for a little while. Um, just had a really busy few weeks with um, getting stuff ready. Um, I've had uh, new tires put on the um, 76. So this is gonna be the first time off-road with the new Kenda Rugged Terrain tires. So I'm keen to, keen to try that out. Um, I've just had a rooftop tent installed on the, the dot, the Drifter Off-Road Tourer, so um, we're going to be getting that back into action, which is pretty cool. Uh, getting that ready for some 12 volt work as well, and I've just been really busy work-wise. Um, just a lot on um, for us, which is which is good, because we've got to pay the bills somehow. Um, but um, yeah, so heading away for an impromptu um, trip um, catching up with Luca I think uh, it's just me and him this one and um, meeting him at Sheepyards Flats now Sheepyard Flats is not that far from where I live but you know like a lot of things there's so much of the high country I've just never actually been down that particular area so I uh, sort of jumped at the chance he's doing a two-day trip but I'm gonna join him tonight camp at Sheepyard and then um, we're gonna do some wheeling tomorrow and he's gonna camp again somewhere down near Lycola probably before heading home Sunday. I'm gonna head back tomorrow because um, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna do some work uh, unfortunately on Sunday just uh, a little bit behind, um, such is life. Um, but yeah, um, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Don't know about you guys, but yeah, I mean, for me, getting out in the high country is, it's 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 like a form of therapy. Um, just sort of resets and you just feel better about life. So, um, yeah, you've got to make time to, to do those things that um, make you feel good. So, uh, that's what we're doing. We're heading out there. See you soon. Hey there guys, well, 
We're still going, probably a bit glary with the light, but I figured you wouldn't see me at all without the interior light on. Um, so it's um, just on nine o'clock. We've just turned off the bitumen onto the Hauqua Trek and um, heading to Sheepyard Flat. So, um, you know, never driven in here before. Um, so why not do it at night time for the first time? So um, anyway, um, yeah, you'll see the campsite in the morning, assuming I get there tonight. So yeah, heading in on Halper Track, which is probably more aptly named Halper Road, I would have thought, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a reasonably wide two-wheel drive, gravel road, um, not difficult to drive at all. Um, which was good because I really didn't know where I was going as I said in the introduction to this trip video uh, I've never actually been down in here before um, a lot of my friends have been down here a lot Troopy Matt comes down in this neck of the woods a lot they have a lot of Troopy meetups down around Fry's Hut and that sort of thing um, it's just happened that I haven't actually been down this way um, so uh, yeah, it was an opportunity to visit a part of the high country I just haven't got to previously. So just passing another campground here, I think. Lucky I could reach Luca on the radio. Um, love this GME. Such um, good range. And uh, yeah, I didn't really know where I was going. And as I got closer, fortunately it was... So I think I just got to Donovan's Flat or something. Keep going on the main road. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, you'll see me. You'll just keep coming. You'll... Got me that. So yeah, fortunately I was able to reach Luca on the radio. Um, he knew I was coming, and uh, yeah, because as it turns out, um, Sheepyard Flat itself was busy. Well, I guess we just keep going. Windscreen wipers are sticking on the screen because of all the bugs. What's going on with this? thing having an absolute hissy fit the Hema HX2 the navigator I love to hate it's got one job sorry for the sketchy footage there with the windscreen fogging up I must be getting close, the signal's good too. Is that you down there on the left? Yeah. Alright, where's the entrance just up here, is it? Yeah, 100 metres or left. Uh, there's somewhere in here, quite a bit. Alright, see you soon. See, so yeah, that entrance sort of stuck up on me, and it's a pretty sharp left hand turn with a won't miss it, yeah, but she's toy, 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 <laughs> with a very toy, with, with, a, with a fairly narrow gate that's a bit tight. Turn the uh, spotties off. So, as you can almost probably make out, there's a few yeah. people camping in here. And this is less busy than Shipyard Flat, so, like you did secure a nice spot down the end though. Already got the fire up and going, it's always nice to roll into camp and the fire's up and going. So just getting some uh, morning breakfast and coffee organised to camp the next morning. Um, as you can see, still using the RS1. Um, still reasonably happy with that, still has condensation issues, um, stretch is good um, and I find it really comfortable. Uh, this trip just brought my little uh, basic folding camp chair. Alright, about to take the Kenders for their first trip off road. We've dropped them down to 25 psi, so they still look pretty inflated really. Um, back ones. So, just down here at Sheepyards Flats, 
and about to take these off-road for the first time. Except I'm pretty sure we weren't at Shipyard Flats. Um, we're pretty sure that was full and we camped at a different campsite. And I think it might have been Pickering's. Um, that's the thing when you meet somebody else and you don't really know where you're going and it's dark when you arrive, you don't know where you are. And as I said, there's a bunch of campsites along here. Heading out now this morning, you can sort of get a bit of a sense of just how busy it was in here. And this wasn't a long weekend, this was just an average weekend in March. Um, so the accessibility of this area certainly makes it popular. And you can camp here right on the river, which is always sought after. Breed driving there. Maybe this guy should go back to driving the auto. camp and turning left on the Bronx Road. This video, not going to see a lot of, you know, wheeling really. Um, it's a pretty easy drive, but very scenic along here. You can get some good views of the river there, as you can see. Uh, just heading along Bronx Road. It's quite a twisty sort of road, but um, plenty wide enough. Got to lock the hubs. That's the thing now. Out of practice. Been too long. So yeah, went, went to go into four wheel drive and realised I hadn't actually locked the hubs yet. Um, the only reason I was going to four high is just a little bit better traction on the gravel. Um, you know, with the Padge I would always drive in um, four high without the centre locker locked on uh, gravel. So I think that's Pickering flat on the left. As I said, I'm not 100% sure what the campground we are in it was. Maybe somebody who knows this area a little better than me, if you're watching this video, can tell me. Maybe Luke can tell me. Um, hopefully he knows where we were. But there are a bunch of campsites along here, uh, and they all look really good. Uh, it's probably an area that I wouldn't mind coming back to. Um, as you can see, it doesn't take long, and your yeah, typical high country, Elevated road, massive drop off on the left hand side there, really steep with a cliff face on the right hand side. It really doesn't take long to start climbing up away from the river. And as always, the camera doesn't show you the view you get uh, when you're actually driving. You do get some nice glimpses of the river through the trees. Just a bit hard for the camera to pick that up. Generally speaking, the road here is in really good nick. You just got to watch those uh, blind corners, slow down for them, and make sure you're on the correct side of the road because you never know when there's oncoming traffic. Obviously, corners like this, you can see the uh, other side of the corner. Uh, it's uh, not so bad. You can sort of take whatever line you want. Jameson Hut, which I was pretty pumped to be going and visiting because it's a hut that I've just never been to. And there's, there's more huts in the high country than you sort of think. And they're all just a little bit different. Getting some glimpses there and the sort of view you get to enjoy along this road. drive. It would be a little cosy if you met somebody towing a van or something coming the other way. Of 
fortunate for us, it was early in the morning. Most people were still back in care and we didn't have a lot of traffic at all.
this is the intersection that I mentioned where if you continue straight ahead here it actually sort of turns into Bluffland Road so by keeping right here we're staying on Brock's Road and we've got about 8 kilometers to go from here um, so about half the distance we've covered to get to the turn off to um, Jameson Hut. so all up it's nearly 30 k's from where we were through to Upper Jameson Hut or through to the turn off for Upper Jameson Hut channel uh, have probably seen my review video on the HX2 there's things I like about it um, but that power issue uh, is something that does drive me nuts and it's intermittent I can go for a couple of months and not have the issue and um, and then it, it starts playing up on a trip which happened again just recently on the way back on a recent trip just last weekend so yeah Anyway, that's our 8 k's through, and that's the access there to up Jameson Hut on the right. It's a pretty sharp right-hander, and I'm on the wrong side of the road because it sort of snuck up on me because the HX2 was giving me grief, so it was a little bit hard to see exactly where we were. Again, somebody teach this guy to drive, eh? Um, a bit of a balance between keeping the throttle up and not going too fast, but yeah. It was always going to be a three-point turn from from that position. And this is the access track down to Upper Jameson Hut. Um, reasonably steep, but good traction, good track. Um, you know, don't need anything in particular uh, to uh, work your way down here. I don't believe we changed down to low range. Most of the track is not as steep as this initial entry. This is probably the steepest part of the whole track. And as you can see it's in good condition, nicely hard packed. about a probably two to three kilometre run in to get to up Jameson Hart here. Little stream crossing here. Definitely not deep. Crystal clear though. So, as I said, like, you know, you don't need a particularly set-up four-wheel drive to get in here. I just probably wouldn't bring your average two-wheel drive car 
through that little rocky crossing, you're probably going to hit something on the underside that you'd rather not. But even an all-wheel drive, foresters, those sort of things, I think you would get through here quite okay. And after that little stream crossing, she's a pretty easy run. The rest of the track is uh, still not particularly difficult. And before you know it, you're down here at this nice clearing where there's a number of great camping spots and the Upper Jameson Hut there. Really nice looking timber hut. And the Jameson River North Branch just flows along uh, straight ahead there, uh, sort of behind the hut. So let's get out and check out the hut. Metal chimney of course, but the rest of the hut is timber. Nice veranda, a little bit low for someone my height. Jameson or Upper Jameson hut. Veranda's a little low. Let's uh, check it out. We'll go under the high part here. Very cool. Nice wooden floor. This one has a mezzanine level. Pretty solid looking ladder. Let's have a look. Definitely in uh, pretty good shape. Somebody's left a frying pan here. Acrylic windows. This one almost not acrylic. Good size fire pit. Some cooking utensils as well. She's pretty well equipped. Of course, as usual, people can't help but um, graffiti these things. So, just down from the hut here, another little camp spot, and a picnic table here, and the river's literally right here. So nice level area just in there, fire pit here, made up, ready to go, and uh, you're right on the river. Pretty shallow today. But uh, yeah, as you can see the hut's just back up over there. So guys, a bit of a touring video today. Look, I hope you've still enjoyed this one. Um, great spot to visit up Jameson Hunt. Next video, we'll be continuing on and hit some four-wheel drive tracks. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Um, you can always uh, support the channel on our Buy Me A Coffee page, buymeacoffee.com forward slash OTBP, linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching. And please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.